Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic message to start your day. And today, I would like to do a warfare prayer for your children. Now, according to Proverbs 22, verse 6, it says, Train up a child in the way that he should go, and when he is old enough, he will not depart from it. And according to Isaiah 54, verse 13, it says, All your children shall be taught by the Lord, and great shall be the peace of your children. Many of the children in this generation, they are being targeted by the devil more now than ever before precious saints it they're being targeted in their school curriculums they're being targeted in their children's school tv programs movies in children's games and in booklets the devil is doing all he can do to attack our children and many households are struggling even with raising god-fearing children so in this very real struggle, we must understand that there is a spiritual battle that is trying to come against the children. Now remember, on our generational lines, there are some people that may have dedicated our family line to idols, to trees, to altars, to waters, to water spirits, and the list goes on and on. And all evil dedications will have spirits attached that can follow a family line so not only do we have things coming from your tv not only things coming from video games and all the other different things around but also from our generational lines and these things that attach to us on our generational lines they can either be even spirits of rebellion even familiar spirits or even spiritual spouses or the list goes on and these spirits will marry that person especially the spiritual spouse and the idols of people's families also harass them they can harass them in their dreams they can harass them with setbacks they can harass them with sexual dreams and all sorts of types of things so we need to understand that by birth if one or both parents have familiar spirits the children can have it too and it can also skip a generation and come from you know the grandfathers and so forth unless those things are cut so we can also see that those things are initiated by maybe generational lines or things that people do even children can visit or play with the occult and touch those things that can open up doors and we see that many children today they're being initiated into things they can even escape and leave at night and come back at all ungodly hours and they've been initiated into things this is very real we can see that there are certain things that we can, um, that we have done or that our children are doing that have opened up their themselves to be able to be uh, possessed or even taken over by these spirits and some of the some of the symptoms we can see in children today is the anger especially if they're spending too much time on their electronics they can have a very bad temper they can even turn into rage they can even turn into like the spirit of murder that can even come upon a child we can see that there is um, you know an overemphasis on lust and sexual um, things that we're seeing being programmed in the advertising we programmed all around us on social media we can see an increase of fear fear on our children fear of what people think people are becoming more people pleasers uh, people are fear of the dark fear of uh, all sorts of different things that we're seeing today we're seeing an increase also of spiritual spouse that is also even affecting children so if it's affected you it can also bounce down to the children or it could be certain things that they have opened up to also so we need to understand that we are in such a time where children are being 
you know, affected by this, which is ultimately brings disrespect for their parents and they're not honoring their parents and they're rebellious and they're so forth. We've got to understand that demons are very bitter spirits. They're very bitter towards us because we are God's creation. And how much more when we become God's children? See, these evil spirits, these fallen angels, they know that they are powerless when we have Christ. But when we don't, they'll try to influence our children and they will use human agents. They will use witches, witch doctors, wizards, sagomas, you name it, whatever the name is, um, you know, shamans and so forth. So demons are the spirits behind every spiritual wickedness being perpetrated in our world and they actually cannot act by themselves they must be commanded or invited and that's what we're seeing today a lot of young people are inviting these spirits into their lives into their situations and we can see that satan and so forth he has deceived so many human occult members to think that they will be promoted within this world and the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life have nothing to offer a child of God. So all the demons of this world are under Satan's control and he has assigned and allocated uh, you know, these portions to fallen angels and also to work alongside these human agents that think that they're going to, you know, they're selling their soul to get ahead in life. All these people that we're seeing in Hollywood and in our entertainment and everything, majority of these people have sold their souls. So, so demons are subject to a child of God through the name of Jesus Christ. And they tremble. And every mention of his name in the name of Jesus, we cast out demons. We dismantle the works of darkness wherever they may be found but the best form of protecting your children is in our spiritual protection and how do we do that we do that through prayers we do that through intercession we do that through sacrifices and and obviously raising up our children correcting them disciplining them in the ways of the lord and not all of our extended family is born again um, children of God so children they must be even protected from both within the family and outside the family precious saints I can never emphasize that enough unfortunately not everybody is born again or fully born again and living that life and again don't just let anybody touch your children especially a baby uh, you just need to use wisdom always because you know even medical doctors could give you that same type of advice but we're talking about spiritual transfers. You must be just always very careful. Pray for your children before they step out of the house and every night before they sleep. Encourage prayer before meals. Encourage Bible studies. Get Turn off the television. Spend time with your Lord, you know, uh, your, your, the Lord, but with the children so that they can see how you pray, how you do things. Pray even before you receive visitors whether family or not pray and also wash the house pray for a cleansing of the house to be cleansed as those people leave so this is not uh going about suspecting everyone and living in fear but it is about you being uh prudent about you being a parent and a protector so ask god to build a hedge of protection over your children uh, and he will do so see a lot of children and young people are behaving strangely not because of bad training or as a result even of parents sin but because of an evil spell that could have even been cast upon them by misguided people either by touch something they watch or what they consume even or by word of mouth we've got to be careful it's a wicked world out there and a world where a lot goes on spiritually than it is goes physically so what we're seeing manifesting we need to understand that it starts in the spirit because it is a world where every physical event is a manifestation of a concluded spirit 
spiritual event. So let your children know this. Protect yourself and your children by being a prayerful person, by being on fire for God. I know that there could be some rebellious children in your home or maybe they're not now, but you just want to cover them with protection. I just continue to encourage you to cover your home with prayer and 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 keep the strife out of your marriages so that the the devil cannot use any type of legal right to come into your home so give more consideration to the spiritual aspect of this protection because you won't always be there with your children you must understand that what you teach them now will save them later on precious saints so execute the physical aspect of it as much as you are capable and leave the rest to god you must also leave and trust that god is protecting your children as you know as the bible says according to isaiah 54 verse 13 which we read says all your children shall be taught by the lord and great shall be the peace of your children so i cannot emphasize enough this is the hour for us to protect our children so let me pray now and let us start to pray and cover our children and cover our homes in jesus name let us pray now heavenly father in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ we come before you today through the blood of your son jesus christ today forgive us even as parents for all of our sins and break every bloodline curse going back to the fourth generation and beyond in Jesus mighty name we are crying out and lifting up our children to you Yahweh for you loan them to us and we declare and decree that no weapon formed or fashioned against them shall prosper in Jesus mighty name we cancel every assignment of the enemy that seeks to destroy them we plead the blood of Jesus over them and that you would revive them also O Lord that they shall live and not die and that they shall declare the good works of the Lord even in the land of the living in Jesus mighty name they shall be successful they shall prosper they shall receive favor in abundance and they will walk in your commandments lord prepare their garments to be ready for your soon snatching away and as you tarry may they walk in the fullness of your call in jesus mighty name we boldly anticipate and declare it is done today any evil agreement our children have inherited or they have entered into consciously or unconsciously let it be broken today in jesus mighty name inherited curses and spells you will break off of our children in the name of jesus christ satanic covenants operating that may be operating in our children's life let them break today in the name of jesus christ seeds of witchcraft that may be also operating in our children's foundation may it die today in the name of jesus christ spirit of anger spirit of rebellion spirit of lust spirit of slavery spirit of hatred spirit of envy spirit of seduction that may be operating within our children's foundation let it die today in the name of jesus christ any satanic association that has been made by our children or their members of their peers let it scatter now in the name of jesus christ any evil dedication even in our children's foundation that is affecting their progress let it be broken today in the name of jesus christ let all demonic marks let all demonic occultic marks any incisions upon our children's life be wiped off with the blood of jesus christ right now in jesus mighty name satanic marriage in our children's life let it be broken today in the name of jesus christ foundational witch must 
die in Jesus mighty name witchcraft also in our father's house that is affecting our children must die in the name of Jesus Christ witchcraft in our mother's house affecting our children must also die in the name of Jesus Christ occultic witchcraft assigned against our children's life must die in the name of Jesus Christ plantation of witchcraft in our children's life must die in the name of Jesus Christ curses spells enchantments and divination of witchcraft break off of our children's lives in the name of Jesus Christ witchcraft burials in our children's lives must scatter now in the name of Jesus Christ witchcraft operations in our children's lives scatter in the name of Jesus Christ where there are addictions that are controlling our children's life let them be broken so they can sober up and also go on the narrow path in Jesus mighty name let every agreement contacts and covenants with familiar spirits be cut off of our children in Jesus mighty name let every attachment of familiar spirits be cut off of our children in Jesus mighty name let every spiritual spouse and any spiritual child be cut off also from our children's lives in the name of Jesus Christ father remove any evil ring and any evil material and any evil attachment that marries or connects our children to any spirit or demon right now in the name of Jesus Christ father break any soul tie between our children and any spirit in Jesus mighty name father remove the deposit of any spiritual wife or husband or spouse from our children's lives in the name of Jesus Christ let every mark of hatred on our children be wiped off in the name of Jesus Christ let every covenant between our children and spiritual spouse be broken in the name of Jesus Christ let every covenant between our children and any spirit of setback or delay or any demonic cycle be broken today in the name of Jesus Christ let every communion and agreement between our children and any spiritual uh, demonic spirit be nullified with the blood of Jesus Christ right now in the name of Jesus Christ father we thank you for all the children within our family within our churches within our community and all around the world protect them right now in Jesus mighty name father as children will be returning even as they go to school and they come back or they return to school after holidays Lord that you will also provide for their parents and their guardians please make a way for all the children that they shall be in school or that they shall be under their parents covering and that in the name of Jesus Jesus Christ father please bless our children and all children around the world with a sound mind today in the name of Jesus Christ father protect all those children also that are in homeschooling Lord that you will continue to show them the ways of the Lord in those environments also in the name of Jesus Christ father please use our children and all the children around us for your glory in Jesus mighty name father please keep all the children around us away from every evil influence and keep drawing them closer to you in Jesus mighty name father give all the children around us pure hearts let their hearts remain pure in you in Jesus mighty name father please put your angels on guard over all the children around us in Jesus mighty name father please let the blood of Jesus be a mark upon our children and on all children around us in Jesus mighty name father please reveal yourself to all the children around us just as you reach out to Samuel at such a young age Lord that you will also speak to our children in Jesus mighty name father 
please help us and everyone who has influence over the children around us to lead them according to your ways according to your will in Jesus mighty name father please make all the children in our family in our churches in our community be the light and salt to this world in Jesus mighty name lord we pray today as i declare i decree and declare blessings and divine protection over all the children either in our family in our community or all around us in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ i decree and declare that every child today shall be blessed that they shall be provided for that they shall be protected i decree and declare lord that you would expose all the human trafficking all the child trafficking rings lord let them be exposed and you would save those children today in Jesus mighty name I decree and declare that the minds of our children and all children around us are filled with wisdom knowledge and understanding in Jesus mighty name I decree and declare that the hearts of all the children around us must remain pure unwavering in their faith and the love of the Lord in Jesus mighty name i decree and declare that every child within our sphere of influence is shielded from harmful influences that might be drawing them away from god lord just draw them closer to you grace day by day in jesus mighty name i decree and declare a host of heavenly angels to watch over and protect all the children within our reach and also those that are unprotected in jesus mighty name i decree and declare the precious blood of jesus christ as a covering as a safeguard over our children and over all the children of the world in Jesus mighty name i decree and declare divine encounters and revelations for all the children lord all the children in our households in our churches in our sphere of influence just as you revealed yourself to samuel we pray that you would truly reveal yourself in a greater way i decree and declare divine guidance and wisdom lord for all the children around us and also the parents and the guardians that are protecting them lord protect those orphans also today reach them today i decree and declare that all children either in our family our church our communities may radiate as a beacon of light and agents of transformation in this world in jesus mighty name amen today we lift up lord all of our personal prayers lord today and as we declare that our children are covered that our children are blessed that our children are protected because the fervent prayers of a righteous man shall avail it much and you know you have heard our cry today father we know that you've heard it there is power in our prayers especially for our children so we will never give up believing for repentance revival to visit our homes to visit our family to visit our marriages to visit our children to visit our churches and also to visit the nations in jesus mighty name repentance revival is coming to the nations and we know it lord that you will prepare a bride without spot or wrinkle let us humble ourselves before the mighty hand of god today we humble ourselves oh lord that you will touch each person each child each family each household today from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet lord i speak a hedge of protection a hedge of fire around each home oh lord i pray for every single parent lord that you will bless them and be with them lord i pray for every household where there is division lord that you would bring peace and unity in the name of jesus christ Christ, I come against all these generational spirits and I continue to speak your praise and blessings upon your children today in Jesus mighty name we pray and believe amen and amen this is Pastor Robert Clancy coming to you all the way from South Africa it is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare 
for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And today is Corporate Friday Fasting, which is every week, precious saints. We have the 10-day fasting coming up in September. I think it's from the 15th to the 25th. Just finalizing that, it will be released soon. So get ready for that. Precious saints, I'm heading to Zambia next weekend I will be in Zambia and then as the Lord leads we'll go from there but then I'm scheduled to be in Namibia at the end of September today is the first of September may the Lord bless you this month as you've read that prayer that I did for today so receive it today in Jesus name then we're heading to Kenya then we're heading to Uganda and then back to Kenya again and then wherever the Lord leads. The Lord has said to me, I've got two years to occupy, two years before they start to do things to tighten up and to stop the flow of traveling. And our prayers can make a difference. Our prayers can be a hindrance to that. And that is revival. When revival comes and it binds up these spirits and principalities and powers, it also, the agents that are working behind it, will actually lose a bit of control and things will change. Things won't work, work for their favor. So I'm praying because I know the Lord is coming back soon. And this is the hour to live for the Lord. This is the hour to serve Him. This is the hour to see Africa set ablaze in revival and then it then go on to every nation time is short so I must be very busy 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 but remember there is a time of warfare now but when this revival comes it will bring a time of rest so get ready for the time of rest that is coming may I encourage each person to live a fasted life this is my third day fasting again today as I'm seeking the Lord and and just pressing in believing God is going to bring this end time revival so do your own personal fast and also join our corporate fast we do the corporate fast so that everyone can come together and they have weight within those fasting so may the Lord bless you from my family to yours God bless you we love you we are praying for your precious saints shalom shalom shalom